Today, it's a, a sixth session of video art design. Uh, we will talk about soft skills, about collaboration and uh, communication, about communication skills, collaborative spirit and flexibility. Uh, today, we have a special guest, Sonia. It will be nice if you introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Sonia Tejerina. I am from the United States. I am an actor, playwright, director. Um, I live in New York City. And I met Deanna in Daw Theater um, just very recently at an artist residency in, um, in Italy where she was teaching. And she um, let me come to Belgrade and join you guys. And this is this is why I'm here. Thank so thank you. you. It's a pleasure to be here. Pleasure to have you here. Uh, can you tell us your experience about uh, collaboration and communication in this project with Diana? Mm, collaboration um, and communication with Diana. Um, in, in the project, meaning, um, sorry. It's okay. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to know more about the work that I did with Deanna? Uh, yes, more about your co collaboration. How did you met? Uh, uh, on what project uh, did you work together? Mm. So Deanna was um, a teaching artist at La Mama Res Artist Residency. And there she was sharing with us her form, her technique the, of DAW theater. And there we did um, lots of different things. We did, um, we did some, she would give us postcards and we would formulate a story um, through many other exercises as well that she shared with us, the map exercise, um, which is an exercise where you create a map visually on the floor and you go to different parts of the world where you were first born and things like this. So a lot of it has to do with um, Daw's specific form of creating story. And um, also in the projects that we did, the performances that we did at La Mama included, the one that I did included a lot of video projection. So um, very much heavily used and a lot of the artists as well that um, were in the workshop relied heavily on technology and video projections. And it is a wonderful resource to really amplify storytelling. Um, so it can really, it can just add so much complexity and nuance to storytelling for the stage. Okay. Uh... This communication skills uh, uh, include effective communication with directors, uh, set designers, light, de light designers, actors, uh, video artists, and others, and producers uh, of the uh, whole team. And the first thing is uh, that we have on this uh, session is to develop active listening skills to affect understand the vision and uh, require uh, requirements of director set designer light designers and other included in uh, production uh, uh, from my angle as a video designer when I'm working in the whole process I have the whole team included. They're all in my in my mind, and I'm listening to everybody, and uh, have some experiences from them and suggestions and critics and everything. Uh, did you have uh, uh, those kind in in this uh, project of yours? Did you have uh, that kind of communication with the team? Did you give uh, give some uh, suggestions uh, for uh, pro for projecting for making videos? 
Uh, yes, absolutely. Um, active listening is a huge part of being on set um, in any in any form, you need to be able to affect, com effectively communicate your visions that you wish to bring to life. Um, so it's always a collaboration of director with um, lighting designer. Um, these people are always in communication with each other to bring the story to life. So yes, very much so um, this was a part of building The, the design uh, because you you uh, told us that uh, it was your idea your story that you uh, project the, those uh, videos projections did you have some special ideas that you need to explain to video designer to make the the videos for projection Well, it wasn't um, only specifically just my idea, but it was a collaboration with uh, the directors and the other actors as well. But um, yes, there are in the specific project that we were working on, we had the, the, the there was many actors and directors who also knew video design. And because they knew video design, we were able to do something much more complex and much more interesting um, and engaging for the audience because of their skills that they had with video design. Um, so to answer your question about how we brought the ideas to life, um, a lot of it was the performance would be happening in real time. And at the same time, we would have um, videos cameras set up to be able to project what was happening or a specific act that was happening that we wanted to focus on so in one of the other projects there was three actors on stage and they were moving simultaneously while one another performer was on a microphone speaking the text and then on the the big screen what was being projected to the audience was um this water um, and somebody who was drowning in the water. So you had the, the simultaneous three actors on stage, the person speaking, and then you had the big screen behind them that we used to, um, that was being projected. So in when you are talking about how do we bring these ideas to life, you're always in communication. And if you're lucky enough to have someone who has, who is a video, the video designer, the lighting designer, you're all working together to bring the vision that the director has to life. And uh, what is your experience? Is it uh, hard to act on the scene with the projection? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that it's hard. I think that you are aware that this is happening and I think it's the director's job to tell the actor this is where I want you to stand because they're the ones who are being able to see what is being projected and it's the actor's job to you know go to the spot where they've been told to go and then you you do what you've rehearsed and then the the projection um, captures that and then it's much more it's just an interesting experience for the audience So it's, it's, like I said, it can just make a already beautiful um, story just that much more complex. And we allow the, uh, we give the audience an opportunity to focus on something deeper and gives them the opportunity to really focus on something that maybe they wouldn't before if that video projection wasn't up there. Okay, uh, the, uh, we just talk about articulating ideas and concepts uh, of, of the of the show of performance. Uh, there is cre clearly that director manage everything what is happening on the stage and uh, your experience with that. And I'm uh, 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 interested in that to tell us. Uh, uh, does it happen that you are, are on a stage and you don't see the projection and you know what to do? Yes. So um, theoretically, what would happen before is that you are in a rehearsal process 
And so you don't see the projections that are happening, but you do already know what you're supposed to do. And um, yeah, so you, you know what you're supposed to do. It's been rehearsed, but you don't see the projections. Typically, typically. Okay. It, it, it could be a choice. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, if you, uh, n not in that situation, but when you have lights in your eyes or something on projection, project on your own, uh, your body, your face, if you have some uh, problems with projecting on, on, on your eyes, do you mm -hmm. say that to, uh, to the uh, director or to video designer to move something to... Mm -hmm. Uh, change the the angle of the light or something like that yeah i think that um there is a there should be a, a common language for respect for the individuals that are on stage performing and i think that if you as a performer have a, a problem um to voice it and hopefully you are in a space where Um, the director and the lighting designers respect you um, not only as a performer, but as an individual, as a human being. And then typically in that situation, um, it, it can always be adjusted. Everything can be adjusted. Um, so typically, yes, I say um, let, let them know that, hey, I'm being blinded. I can't see. And then they should adjust. Okay, thank you. Because we on previous sessions we were uh, talking about that that uh, all, all of the crowd of performance must to have uh, flexibility, adaptability to uh, hear the others, to hear suggestions, like, uh, especially for uh, video projection. Because uh, uh, when you have a, a strong projector with great light. is a very, very big problem to actors when it's project and uh, that is the the thing that i want to uh, to tell all the partic participants when they uh, uh, work on some projects with projections uh, they must to ask the, the actors and everybody else is anybody have some kind of problem with projection with light with sound with everything and uh, that is very uh, important because uh, you just said that collaboration and understanding like human beings is very important Uh, because uh, processes in in theater are not like processes in the, shooting the movie or the video for projection the 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 performances are uh, very uh, complex and uh, uh, we must to have communication skills mm -hmm. know the way uh, how to tell some uh, somebody from the crowd something uh, or to tell the whole crowd if you have uh, uh, some idea uh, i uh, uh, wanted to ask uh, one more question uh, about uh, uh, the influence of actors because now it's a six session but now we have uh, you uh, as a guest and uh, i'm very glad that you're here that we can talk uh, and that participants can hear somebody from the uh, from the stage Uh, because we uh, were speaking about the whole stage the, the video projections are not only one part and you do the video and that's all mm -hmm. no the, the 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 video is the part of of uh, big magic with all mm -hmm. the crowd mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the actors are very important and we need to know when uh, on rehearsals uh, to uh, to put down light lighting on or brightness or something because of our uh, uh, actors on the stage because of lighting on the stage uh, and the video uh, uh, some, sometimes it, it can be very uh, uh, bright and very bright and uh, it's not good and because of that uh, all, all of crowd on the scene and uh, of the scene when you uh, uh, doing the rehearsals 
you have the uh, time to say to the crowd, please do this or do that. My question is, uh, what is your experience uh, in that kind of communication uh, and understanding? Uh, what is the way to tell somebody uh, uh, your idea? Did hmm. you have some problem or, or something like that, that you were shy or something like that to, to say to the director uh, 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 something that, that it is good for the uh, it, to put in the video in some moment of the video? Okay. Um so if I understand correctly, um, how to communicate basically um, your needs in a moment of maybe if there's like some sort of conflict arising. I would say that the best, the best advice that I think works in the theater as like as in daily life, we're all humans. We all have our our world outside of the the theater, right? Where we are, maybe some of us have other jobs, maybe our families, this and that, or the other. Um, leading with with respect, you can you can get your your point across and you can get your your vision across without being disrespectful, without raising your voice, without conflict. And conflict does arise in the theater. It's very common for the stage manager or the director and the lighting designer during tech rehearsal, that week of tech rehearsal, for it takes a moment for people to figure things out. And that's what tech rehearsal is for. So um, if you are struggling to get your vision across, I think you take a moment, you breathe, and you say, this is, this is what I see in my head, but if you are not understanding, let's try to find another way of, um, of communicating, which that can just look like, sometimes you change the way that you communicate if somebody is not getting your vision. So maybe you show use an example or use a metaphor. Sometimes I've seen directors, um, sometimes a director will say, I, I want, I want this, like, well, you can't see it. I want, I want, I want like this. <laughs> and then the, the, the lighting designer, or the sound designer will go, oh yes, this, this makes sense versus trying to explain it. So the director and the lighting designer and the, the videographer, all of these people, they, quickly learn each other's language so there's a language that's that starts forming that might look kind of crazy to an outsider right um but at the end of the day not forgetting that we are all human beings and we all deserve to be spoken to with kindness and respect that will get you farther than somebody um getting upset or frustrated, which is, it's normal to get frustrated, but in those moments, you just remember, you take a deep breath and then you try again, but um, no need to, you know, lose your temper or anything. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the third point is to learn to ask clarifying question and seek mm -hmm. feedback to uh, ensure the, the uh, alignment between indeed video design and the creative vision of the production and uh, everybody else. And uh, that is, yes. uh, 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 you just uh, told that, uh, that special language. And that is the magic in the theater uh, is that it, uh, you learn to read the mind. <laughs> <laughs> from director, from everybody else, and uh, uh, that is the uh, you uh, say, said correctly. Uh, you must to be calm down and to learn to ask uh, clarifying questions. Yes, and to tell your opinion uh, with kindness. Because... Something that um. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Just um something that Deanna actually uh, said to us, and you know, Deanna has. If you guys um, know, she's been a director for so many, so many years. And she says all the time, or she told us that she says, um, when somebody asks a question and she doesn't know, she just says, I don't know. And that, it, and it is okay to not know because we do not need to know all the answers. We don't, we do not need to have all the answers, but after I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. We're yeah. going to figure it out together.
Yes. So it's it's also just okay if you you don't have the answer. Yes, because my experience is uh, uh, just like that. I ask uh, something and Diana said, I don't know. And I said, okay, I will try to find solution and I will show you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and that's it, because director uh, is not the, the uh, person who have uh, skills in video and light design, but they know the vision, they know mm -hmm. what they want from the actors, from the video, from, and that is very important what you said sometimes the, the, the director uh, uh, says i don't know and uh, that is the the position of other parts uh, uh, other uh, uh, members of crew of the per performance to give a suggestions for video uh, for this session we are talking about video art design it's uh, uh, specific because uh, uh, if, in rehearsals, we make uh, some uh, different solutions in video, and we must know to explain to director why we think that this will be better or uh, this is not okay, that we will uh, manage in some other way. And uh, that communication is very, very important. And uh, not only for for video design, but for uh, all the crowd. On the, and that is the point of this session, that we talk about these things, that uh, communication skills are very important. Because uh, when you uh, work on the video, uh, you are alone at the home on your computer or you are uh, recording something and come home and make a video but when you uh, work with the theater it's much more uh, 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 interesting and magical thing for me from my experience because every time I learn something new and uh, sometimes I uh, hear uh, some uh, some ideas from actors, from uh, from uh, light designers, from sound designers that I didn't think about it. And then I make some correction in, in video, and that is very important for all the participants that we have actor here today to uh, 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 tell us about her experience and. Uh, 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 Sonia, uh, uh, the the thing of that uh, good communication to breathe deeply <laughs> and uh, to to say what what you uh, want to say. Uh, uh, we he have here uh, uh, some project that is now in uh, uh, in Belgrade. Some other project. Uh, can I ask somebody to uh, mute the mic? I don't know who it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we will talk uh, about collaborative uh, spirit. And uh, that is about, I will uh, talk uh, later about the project that is uh, happening now in Belgrade and that collaboration and the experience uh, of that collaboration, uh, ability to uh, collaborate. Uh, you, uh, Sonia, you just told us the first uh, point here is to uh, cultivate a collaboration mindset uh, that values input and contrib uh, contributions from other designers and technical staff, recognizing the importance of teamwork in achieving the cohesive and su su successful uh, production and to develop uh, uh, interpersonal skills for building positive uh, working uh, uh, relationships with colleagues, uh, mutual respect, trust, and open communication. Uh, did you have, uh, sometimes in, in your career, did you have some problems uh, with open communication? 
uh, uh, for example, uh, you suggest something for the video and somebody said, no, it's not possible and uh, something like that. The, do you have th that kind uh, of problems no problem. in the past? Yeah, definitely. I think um, we can, um, again, we, we are all human and we all um, have our own faults and sometimes it's hard to stay grounded and respectful um, when working with other human beings. Um, in the, I think in those situations, I think it's important to ask the the, tech, the technician, whoever they may be, if we can try. And if there really is no solution, then we we find another way. And so sometimes the director, if if you are the director, and it's really not possible to achieve this design aspect or visual aspect that you are really are hoping to produce and if your technicians try and fail and, and not fail but like cannot produce it sometimes the director has to change course and the director has to not be so precious with their ideas so that means as a director you have to be able to let go of the of sometimes of these specific visions that you have because at the end of the day it's it is a collaboration and if you are able to foster a community, a, a safe space where everybody feels heard, valued, and appreciated, then your technicians are going to want to rise to the occasion and help you design the visions that you do have. So as long as you have these things like mutual respect, trust, and open communication, if you foster that or you attempt to nurture that from day one, then your technicians will respect you and want to work with you in your ideas. But if for whatever reason, technically speaking, it is not able to come to life, then everybody changes course and they find a different way to produce a similar effect, but in ways that are possible. So, um, you know, we, these things that we're, we're talking about, mutual respect, trust, and open communication, um, collaborative spirit, and effective communication skills are so important, sometimes even more so than your technical abilities. Because if you have all the technical ability in the world, but you are not able to collaborate or respect the other um, members of the, of the team, you won't get work because nobody will want to work with you if you are not able to work with other people. So these are, these are just so, 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 so important. Important. Okay. Uh, do you have some uh, uh, problem solving techniques that you learn through your career that you can uh, share with us? Mm. Mm, okay. Problems. Yes. Um, sometimes. So in, in the theater, more than likely you have a stage manager. So for actors specifically, um, the actor is not going to want to go straight to the director if they have a problem. They're going to want to go to the to the stage manager because in the theater, there is a, a hierarchy of sorts, if you will. So the actor would go to the stage manager. The stage manager would then go to the director and they would see how the problem can be solved. Um, but I think like what we're learning here, like these are the skills and the building blocks of effective communication, um, mutual respect, trust. And even if you are sometimes afraid of, of speaking up, hopefully you are in an environment where people are going to respect you. And if they don't, then maybe those are not the people that you want to be working with because you want to be working with people who are going to value your opinions and value your needs in the room. Yeah. So it's very important for for uh, uh, us who are vi uh, uh, video designers, uh, and uh, we are projecting something in in uh, in theater. It's important to uh, listen to everybody. We mm -hmm. are in uh, we are in positions uh, of the stage, and uh, we are in some position that nobody asks us anything. 
<laughs> and uh, it's a, a interesting position the, uh, but it's uh, uh, it's very important to have respect for everybody on the stage and off the stage and that problem solving solving techniques are not only the the techniques that we learn who are uh, uh, studying or anything negative through the experience through the, uh, the uh, from project to project every project director different crowd and uh, uh, we uh, must to learn to to be a uh, 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 collaborative to hear, to 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 uh, listen, to, to 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 take the feedback from everybody, and it's very important for, for video design because sometimes video designer don't know if something is uh, not good for actors or for for lighting uh, guys from techniques, and uh, we must to speak. And if it's uh, some kind of problem, we must to find the way to solve a problem as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And uh, to uh, that are all, all the challenges to to uh, uh, not to come to the conflict, because it's not uh, it's not good for for the crowd. And you said uh, nobody will want to work with you in the future if you don't have ability to collaborate and to to be kind to uh, solve a, a problem. Uh, I would just like to say also as like the video designers you know um if you are working in a situation where perhaps you feel like you are being undervalued or your opinion or your voice is not being heard you are also you are such a um integral important part of the the puzzle piece because everybody at the end of the day is just as a puzzle piece in the in the big puzzle so nobody has more importance in the theater than like actors are not more important than the lighting designers and lighting designers are not more important than the the actors and you know what I mean so if like you have a situ if you are in a situation where you feel like your director is demanding something that you are not able to produce there is, like I say, there is nothing wrong with um, speaking up and letting the director know that this isn't possible, but then you find ways you communicate respectfully with your director and you have that collaborative spirit and you guys find a new direction to go in to be able to, to tell the story effectively. Yeah. So also important. Yes, thank you. Uh, because uh, uh, in previous session we we were speaking about the making the video, the, the storyboard, and everything else. And from the first session, I told to 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 all the participants that uh, uh, that uh, importance of ability co to collaborate is very important because sometimes uh, directors have some ideas that we can manage in, in in a moment uh, sometimes mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's uh, technically uh, it's not uh, possible to do some things mm -hmm. and uh, uh, as a video pro uh, video designer we must to have the the patience to explain uh, clearly uh, what we can do and what we cannot do mm -hmm. and uh, what is possible in the moment and what is not possible because you have experience on the rehearsals there are many changes mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, all of the crowd must to, uh, uh, have the, the flow with all the <laughs> that changes that are uh, uh, going to the process, process of rehearsals uh, uh, actors, lighter designers, video designers and uh, all of us must to, to, to learn to, to uh, speak uh, about uh, any kind of problem because sometimes when you uh, think about it's not a big problem if you uh, thought about it in that moment if uh, isn't a problem problem at the moment it will be a problem uh, after 
Mm. So uh, it's very important, especially for video design. If you uh, mm. uh, 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 think that something will be problem, it will be problem. Mm. And uh, uh, in the beginning, you must to to, to explain uh, what do you think about some situation and uh, what is your uh, 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 um, thinking about that can be a problem and to talk with the director and everybody else and it is very important at the beginning when when you think that something can be a problem in the future say immediately <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, because uh, uh, if you don't say at the beginning, it, uh, it can be a very big problem at, at the end, on the uh, final rehearsal. It saves more time. And saves more time. Did you have uh, uh, experience like that? That something was okay, 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 and on the uh, uh, final rehearsal, it was not okay. Which yeah, I mean, um, I mean, yeah. So much can, um, so much can go wrong in in the theater, right? And, and we always need to be on our toes. And um, when that does happen, um, then we we problem solve, and the 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 solution is always to communicate and find new ways, and to find the problem. Because if it was, especially if it was something with it's something with video design where it was working before and now all of a sudden it's not working, that just means that we need to give the the time and the space for the video designer to figure out what went wrong. Especially if it's a rehearsal, then we that becomes priority. So um, it's the director's job to make it a priority for the if, if it's effective, if we need it to tell the story, that we carve out the time and space. For the for the video designer to figure out um, the problem. Okay, uh, that is very important uh, because uh, from my experience, I had some problems, <laughs> <laughs> and I uh, I uh, immediately we uh, said I have a problem now mm -hmm. uh, because technique is uh, is very uh, funny. Uh, just as you said, uh, it's working, and uh, in the moment, it's not working, mm -hmm. and it's very, very stressful. And thank you for for saying that that you have a patience for video designers <laughs> to solve the problem, and uh, uh, from that uh, uh, director's part, because it's very important. Because we, uh, uh, as a video designers, we can manage the video, we can, we can manage the projection, everything. And in the moment, uh, something can happen with computer or something else, or projector, or the cable, or, or, or the electricity, or something. And, right. and and that patience from 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 your side, from, from other uh, uh, members of, of of crew, from the performance, is very important. And thank you for saying that. And uh, thank you for 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 uh, explaining us that that you have uh, uh, understanding for for uh, that kind of uh, situation. Thank you. We will uh, talk a, a little bit more later. Uh, uh, for today's session, I decided because um, I will show the 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 three uh, examples. Uh, that are happening uh, or, or happened uh, uh, in some performances and one uh, or this project whole project that is happening now in Belgrade and uh, Dark Theatre is a part of uh, that and uh, I decided uh, for this session uh, uh, to choose the examples who are uh, involved in uh, peace and war because uh, uh, in this moment here in our civilization uh, are too many wars, too many killings, uh, too many bad things. And uh, we have, uh, for the end of this course, uh, you will have the your videos and I'm searching for the text that uh, you will work the videos. And uh, for today's session, like I said, I decided the uh, themes uh, as uh, uh, with the peace and the war, because I think that it's very important to uh, uh, speak about that. 
and uh, you will see that um, uh, many many uh, theater shows are are very important for uh, the audience to understand something because uh, many people in the audience don't uh, watch the uh, television or and don't know anything about the uh, happening in the countries in the world and uh, theater is very a uh, good place to explain the 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 audience some things and the uh, art is uh, uh, Art is a, is a uh, place where we can uh, aesthetize ideas, uh, uh, where we uh, working in team, working with uh, uh, all the crowd in performance, and uh, that magic from from the rehearsers uh, talking to director, to actors, to everybody else. Uh, during the process of making the 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 performance is very important and uh, uh, those two uh, peace and war are uh, uh, very very impo important in uh, this moment and uh, now in belgrade is a project hope project uh we have uh, here the Mar martin luther king uh, peace is not merely a distant goal that we seek, but a means uh, by which we arrive at the goal. Uh, peace is only one of uh, the objectives that whole project is working uh, to achieve, in particular to promote peace through learning history and using theater techniques. Because we can, uh, as video designers, we can use uh, some videos from history uh, and we can make in that kind of collaboration we will see uh, I uh, show you uh, uh, in previous slides you have here the ability to collaborate this is the uh, are, are the photos from the uh, hope project you see the, the crowd here you see some happening here they're talking, they're, they are uh, uh, thinking about peace, thinking about way how to promote the peace, how to find the solution for, for uh, such an uh, awful uh, situation in, in the world uh, through the theater and through the uh, theatrical uh, uh, techniques. Uh, and the... Uh, uh, action uh, synergy with DAC Theatre and many other partners in this uh, pro uh, 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 project uh, showcased a workshop on how to use theatre to educa educate the history of peace and its benefits. Uh, through different activities, the participants become more comfortable to uh, uh, express their feelings and share their opinion. And that is the, the, the process. Uh, 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 here in this project, uh, I just copy paste the, the, the text from the project and the second uh, uh, sentence uh, to express feelings and share the opinions to make uh, something new, to make some new piece of, of, of theater uh, performance. And uh, through theater, they could relate the nowadays situation in a sense of peace and war. And uh, uh, after this example, I will show you the, the other examples. I, uh, previously, I... I uh, uh, spoke about Akram Kam company and uh, the teams that uh, he's uh, working and his team is working on. And uh, uh, for the next session, I will uh, make a PDF for complete uh, list of what you can do for the video at the end. And I will put the three texts uh, that you can make a video on to uh, read the narrative and to try to find the solution in video. And uh, one of uh, uh, these uh, uh, will be about peace and war. 
and uh, ability to uh, uh, this collaborative spirit ability to collaborate in this uh, uh, workshop that is happening in in belgrade is uh, this team that we are uh, talking about uh, today uh, we have here uh, photo of talking of understanding each other of uh, giving some ideas how to manage things how to understand the the terms peace and uh, and the war and how to find the solution to to show to the to the audience uh, solutions for the the peace not uh, the war and now we uh, came to flexibility and i will uh, uh, i want to to uh, say something about uh, one term it's adaptability you cannot be uh, flexible if you are not adaptable. You uh, can't be rigid and to have, uh, I made this video and that is, that's it and uh, that is great. No, you must to be adaptable, to be flexible. We have uh, Sonia here. Uh, she said great things and uh, thank you very much because it's very important uh, for us as a vid video uh, uh, video designers to know that uh, uh, other parts of of crew are uh, 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 understands us and understand those uh, technical problems not just only for that uh, for us but for light design for sound uh, sometimes in the, uh, the theater shows it's not only the performances is not so only the music from off uh, uh, sometimes the musicians are on the stage and uh, uh, on the other yeah. side we must to to uh, have uh, flexibility when the actors uh, uh, are not so uh, fast to finish some scene and we must to make a pause or something like that and to find the way to understand try to be uh, flexible and uh, uh, flexibility willingness to adapt video design based on feedback uh, Embrace a flexible approach to video design, recognizing the adjustments and revision may be necessary through the produ uh, production products, uh, uh, process to accom accommodate changes in uh, direction, feedback from uh, everybody and uh, uh, to uh, try to find the solution. Uh, the other part is to develop uh, adaptability skills that I uh, 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 previously mentioned, to respond quickly and effectively to unexpected challenges or uh, 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 disruptions uh, to uh, find the focus uh, while uh, uh, adjusting video design to meet uh, uh, evolving uh, uh, requirements. To, to be flexible if sometimes the director is nervous because uh, rehearsals is too long and uh, sometimes the the actors or somebody somebody else are tired and because of that uh, uh, we as uh, uh, video designers have to to be patient to have uh, flexibility and to be adaptable to, to those situations. Sometimes on the scene, uh, something is happening very fast. And in that situation, we have to be flexible and adaptably to, to uh, respond uh, effectively, to respond uh, quickly. And uh, it, from a rehearsal to rehearsal, from project to project, we uh, learn a new experience, we learn how to manage manage in that situation and uh, i think that that uh, in in that process from rehearsal to rehearsal from project to project we have the those moments where we have a, a stress on the <laughs> a high level but it's not important in that moment when when uh, the the whole crowd 
is uh, in in one direction to solve something in theater is not like uh, in uh, those uh, situation when you uh, made a video for for some occasion for exhibition or anything else and you are at home in theater it's very important to 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 be flexible to be flat, flexible in any kind of of uh, of uh, 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 problem problem solving uh, 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 because in the theater is live thing it's not you have something in a final rehearsal but on the on the premiere of performance uh, you have uh, something else probably in uh, so Tanya uh, Sonia sorry uh, 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 do you have experience that everything was good uh, on rehearsal on final re rehearsal and then on the premiere of, of or performance uh, uh, it will it happens some uh, problem with video or with lighting or with sound or wow. how you you uh, 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 manage that situation? Yes, all the time. It happens all the time in the theater. And I think one of those, uh, it's just to be expected and to know that things could always go wrong. And if that happens, the 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 audience does not know. The audience doesn't know that a lighting cue was supposed to happen here, that a vid video projection was to hap was supposed to happen here. The audience is just going in and trusting you. And if you make it obvious, then maybe it becomes more obvious to the audience. But then um, after that performance, whatever, whichever one it is, you go back and um, you go the next, you figure it out. You figure out what happened. Um, but yes, it happens all the time and it's to be expected and and you just figure it out. <laughs> yeah, because the, the, the next point is to learn to balance creative vision with practical things, <laughs> demonstrating flexibility in making compromises uh, 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 in video design. Sometimes with it, in theater is always uh, some problem. Uh, we need to learn how to uh, to uh, uh, to accelerate the video in the moment to uh, have a scene or uh, uh, to put it in in a slower level to uh, have a, a, a higher brightness or or higher contrast to uh, make it in the moment and that is the magic in 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 theater and it's very important to uh, in video design we make video and uh, live projection everything is okay and uh, that uh, creative vision uh, our vision and vision of director is uh, great but uh, in in the moment uh, we have a problem and we have to be uh, flexible and to make some compromises and to to make some uh, 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 different to find the the different solution especially when when we uh, are on the premiere because it's always uh, some kind of problem. <laughs> in I, I told them uh, before in uh, uh, Dancing Trees, I don't know if you, you know about that project, uh, in uh, on the first premiere, we uh, had the dog in a scene because it's uh, on an open space. And uh, it was uh, so uh, uh, nice that uh, uh, many of audience thought that uh, it was the part of the show. But it was not part of the performance because the do dog came in the scene and go out and uh, start to bark in the right moment, in the right moment of, of uh, narrative uh, in the performance. It was magical. And those are situations, and we, uh, uh, I uh, didn't put the, the projection in that moment because I, I uh, tried to uh, wait the... Uh, the finishing of barking <laughs> and it was the the magical moment and uh, uh that is that kind of of uh you have the the creative vision you make a video and uh in the moment you must to find the solution to to uh to have uh, uh, uh flexibility 
and to make compromise because it's not important uh, uh, in the video design. We made video for uh, some uh, uh, perform the theatrical performance. Uh, we made the video and uh, through the rehearsals and we must to make changes and uh, we must to uh, make compromises because video is uh, the the part of the big happening it's not the most important it, uh, we are everybody in the team everybody in the crowd the director have the idea uh, what he wants but all of us are uh, very important and as, as sonia said earlier uh, it's uh, on all of us to be the the kind to everybody else but for uh, 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 our artistic integrity of video artists of video designers uh, 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 we must to be uh, flexible and uh, must to make compromises because when we uh, make a video for gallery exhibition or something like that that's uh, that is our uh, 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 art aesthetic and our team are our, our, our uh, art vision but in theater is different it's not uh, important uh, to have that uh, integrity we must to 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 learn to make compromises and uh, that is the magic in, in the theater when you have a great team and the great crowd uh, uh, you will be better from uh, project to project, I uh, 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 I worked with Dark Theater several several project, and now I have uh, the 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 freedom to uh, uh, openly uh, say uh, any anything that is uh, in my in my mind in creating uh, a video uh, um, to have some propo proposals for lighting for sound for everything because we are working uh, several years and uh, we know each other and we know that language <laughs> that is very very uh, important in theater and uh, theater uh, i'm uh, working the videos for other uh, occasions but i love theater i love the, those live act uh, uh because it's it's magic it's uh, 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 something that it's uh, happening now and the same project next time will not be the same it will be different and every every uh, 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 next time uh, 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 you learn something new and uh, that is important. You learn from project to project, to, uh, from project to project, and you must to learn that uh, flexibility, and the, the to find the way uh, uh, to uh, for great collaboration, because you will get the uh, great feedback from everybody. And for video designers, I suggest to to ask everybody. Actors, light designers, sound designers, directors, uh, staff around to to uh, have some uh, to, to 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 give some comment on your video, and you will uh, sometimes uh, 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 find that you didn't think about some great thing that somebody from the crowd uh, uh, told you. The next project I uh, choose for the day, for today is. Ugly lies the bone. Uh, we have here uh, what is the story? Not uh, only the discharged soldier, uh, Jess, has finally returned to her Florida hometown. She brings with her not only vivid memories of Afghanistan, but painful uh, burns that have left her physically and emotionally scared. Jess soon realized the things at home have changed even more than she uh, has. Through the use of uh, virtual real reality video game uh, therapy, uh, she builds the uh, uh, breathtaking, uh, breathtaking new world where she can escape from her pain. As Jess uh, advances uh, further in the uh, in the game, uh, she begins to restore her relationship, her life, 
and slowly slowly her herself uh the play was inspired by a real video a game therapy called a snow world uh, currently being used to turn uh, burn survivor veterans living in the state of uh, perpetual uh, pain and uh, it's uh, it's uh, very very uh, painful for for me uh, to uh, to think about uh, uh, this kind of situation and human lives, but we have here the the theatrical show with the uh, beautiful uh, projections, and uh, you will see now the crew on 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 this uh, uh, show, this performance. Uh, the, uh, as uh, I read, uh, they use uh, uh, virtual uh, reality for uh, uh, for healing the the persons who 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 were in in the war and have uh, pain. Uh, I will play the trailer now. Uh... Uh, I do you see you this? Oh, virtual place. Do you see and hear? Totally unfamiliar to your senses. So no, no. But I don't no. see. Don't see. <laughs> don't see. Do you see it now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. 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 We do. It's the same. Open your eyes. I will uh, uh, I play from the beginning. Virtual place. So, totally unfamiliar to your senses, so they forget how much you hurt. Yes! Can you really make sense? Open your eyes. Uh, that was the trailer, uh, and uh, now now I will play the 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 uh, those part uh, that is uh, for the projection because it's very complicated uh, projection and very uh, a beautiful projection, uh, uh, and uh, you will uh, hear the guy who is. Uh, 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 video artist that uh, made this and the whole crowd that uh, uh, made the, the scene. Collaboration. In just a moment. My name is Luke Halls. I'm the projection designer for Ugly Lies in the Bone. As part of the creative team, I'm brought on quite early on. Uh, we have conversations with the designer and the director about what we're trying to achieve. And specifically for this project, how we deal with virtual reality, VR being a huge part of the play and a part of the experience. My name is Indy Rubisingham and I'm the director of Ugly Lies the Bone by Lindsay Farantino. This is the biggest show I've done with video and projection. It's an integral part to the whole design. So it's also about the Florida world. It's also about the uh, rocket launch. It's also about the domestic. It's a, it's a poetic language through, throughout the whole piece. I'm Ayers Devlin. I'm the set designer of Ugly Lies the Bone. I think, you know, a lot of Indu's work was in bringing the piece into this larger space. Um, and I think that's why she asked me to work on the piece with her, um, was because she knew that to communicate this web of connections between people right up to the back row of the circle, um, you know, it, it did need a kind of gesture, kind of larger scale gesture. This came from Ayers and as is, you know, as is brilliance of like, you know, creating this sort of dome like world to which projection and video could work really well with. And here we have home. Titusville uh, and uh, then also on top of this we have uh, the AV world. The piece is about a returning um, soldier 
who has been facially disfigured and she's come back to where she grew up, to this tiny town, Titusville. Just the pure geography of it, actually, just looking at it from above tells a huge story because it's this place that only exists because of the space program. The actors, when they're in that shape, they feel they're in something that speaks of quite large ideas, but also holds them. What's great about the design of this play, I think, is that it, you've got this big epic landscape and then you've got this very small playing area, which is quite hopefully quite claustrophobic and domestic. So you're playing with both the epic and the intimate. So somewhere between the global and the local is what led to this shape. And we found a common denominator, a sort of correlation between the rhythm of seeing products on a shelf and houses in a row. Titusville got drawn. These shapes all got sent into the National Theatre. They took out drawings, CNC cut, all of these parts. And then it was a real jigsaw puzzle. And they were in there for months, piecing it together endlessly, getting everything in the right place, making it all, it all lined up. And the critical thing was that for Luke's projection to line up on it, it had to exactly match the model he had built. And every day he said, whatever you do, don't change anything because I've made it. I've made all my models in 3D and they've taken weeks. Projection is very good at explaining what she is seeing. So when she puts the goggles on, this bowl becomes a representation of what she's seeing. Part of the play is creating an a ice world, an ice landscape that feels very different from her hometown in Florida. So we created this environment, which is all in 3D and 360. This is the first moment that she opens her eyes and sees this world. So there's quite a lot of work that's involved in this process. So in order to just get to this imagery, we have to take the design, look at the building construction and how it's going to be built. Uh, there's you know thousands of buildings on this set. Part of that process, we take a scanner that's usually used to scan building sites. We bring it in here and we scan the space. We then can use that data to create a 3D model that enables us to um, directly map a pixel onto a specific area. Uh, Part of what Luke was trying to do was map quite specifically onto each building so that he could get the shadows traveling around each building, map the journey of cars. So it being specifically related to one set of drawings, the build and the virtual build uh, became really important. So this is a really good example of another part of the play, which is the uh, her real world environment. So we've mapped exactly onto each road in the set each building is mapped exactly so this is where we needed the scan data to really get that accuracy when it's something that enhances the whole thing so it enhances the theatrical experience that i love about video and projection to show her loss in this big world but she's downstage so you have her really emotionally close to you as an audience that's what the video helped showed her isolation and her distance in the world and when you're in a 900 seater you're going like I want to feel like we're in a studio box and then you want to feel like you're in a big amphitheater so that was what was really interesting uh, as a creative team how to create both all those worlds and how to make them mix and move softly and gently between them I really love to work on pieces where video and projection is written into the story. So it isn't just a backdrop, but is actually integral to the meaning of the play. But ultimately what we are all interested in as theatre practitioners is helping tell a story. Uh, Sonia, can you tell us something that you think about this from the your uh, angle of actress? Oh, from the angle of acting. I think that um, it the ability to have the projection screen like that enriches 
the the experience for for the actor because you get to not only a lot of times we are imagining these worlds in our heads sometimes um we have our the props that we've built you know the 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 staging of the of the set but sometimes you don't have a whole lot so you have to imagine the world what the world would look like and if like one of the things that i like that one of somebody said was that i like stories where um video projections are written in and then at the end of the day it's helping tell the story that allows the the actor to just go in deeper for themselves to take that to take that role deeper because they have a whole world that they can actually live in and exist in so i think that this is fascinating and it's becoming more and more and more now that um many many theater companies all around the world are starting to use video design and video projection and it's becoming um standard in a lot of um, practices and so it's a very important and integral skill to have and it enriches enriches the experience for for everybody for the actor designers Um, the audience, the audience. That's very exciting for the audience. Yes, and uh, we heard the the, the director, we, uh, I think twice, said the team, the creative team, mm -hmm. and, and and that that is the 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 main point, the creative team. Uh, 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 you see the 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 woman who made the 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 scenography. Mm -hmm. and the the projection guy who did the projection and uh, that process is is very uh, hard to, to i know it <laughs> i know it because uh, uh, only to make the the, the 3d projection of of 3d world to, to for the mapping you need to scan the space to <laughs> to uh, make the 3D model and uh, when you make the 3D model after that uh, 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 video designers the video hmm. and uh, that is the, the, the way uh, that, that is going to, to uh, uh, be in line with the narrative with the, uh, 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 all of us so the, the, the when they uh, have a rehearsal with projection they have some figure of a person in the middle uh, mm -hmm. sometimes video video designers don't need the the, the, uh, the actors in every rehearsal mm -hmm. to know uh, 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 within we, we need to know uh, positions positions in in uh, 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 is everything okay? It's not. It's okay. Uh, we need to know the position of, of, of every uh, part of the stage. Mm -hmm. And uh, when uh, we are uh, the, the mapping, it's not only the video. Uh, we have video, but when we have mapping, we have a uh, 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 different perspective. And in softwares that I uh, talked uh, talked about in the previous sessions, we must to know the those technical stuff how to the the, the per, uh, different perspective because here we have some sphere we don't have the flat mm -hmm. we have uh, and uh, 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 as you say uh, as an actress you have the, the Uh, uh, you don't need to think about that to, to imagine something. You right. In the scene, you are, and uh, that is important in, in the in the future. In the, in, in every theater, it will be less uh, scenography and more projections because it's uh, cheaper. <laughs> mm. Because it's cheaper, and. Uh, 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 you uh, have to uh, to make the video but that process 
is not easy very hard mm -hmm. and uh, that is that, that part that, that they uh, talk about that uh, we are uh, talked about today about flexibility and uh, uh, those women who in uh, scenography see how many people made the scenography and mm -hmm. after that uh, the video designer said please don't change anything <laughs> Please don't change anything because if you put uh, uh, one piece in a different part, mm -hmm. the projection will be not good. And uh, for, for the audience, is uh, 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 this performance, uh, this show was uh, very hard to 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 uh, uh, about the, the narrative and the importance of the video because in the virtual reality you have only videos mm -hmm. some animation or some recorded uh, uh, environments or, or or something but the the importance of the design in uh, this kind of, of performance is uh, is very important but all the out crowd out as a direct director said a uh, creative team and uh, her mm -hmm. idea as uh, as a director she said that uh, it's the first time that she's uh, uh, working such a big project and uh, the the importance of, of that and the team of course uh, uh, this woman with with those uh, uh, emotionally and uh, physically uh, uh, with uh, painful burns, and uh, that is my point for uh, uh, today's session. Always think about the the narrative, uh, uh, but I choose those that are uh, some really bit more uh, because uh, the narrative here the uh, video designer uh, made the virtual world, world for the audience to see how the therapy with VR is doing uh, mm -hmm. for, 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 for the actress and mm -hmm. Uh, some other kind of existing in the world and uh, uh, that is the the point of narrative and i think that is uh, this is the uh, uh, for me it's one of the greatest uh, performances for for, for uh, this team that, uh, is uh, uh, explaining how the video important for the therapy <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, how to uh, how to explain the audience uh, that uh, uh, that therapy is helping the person to uh, to uh, to release the pain uh, uh, physically and emotionally, and uh, that kind of, of narrative is very hard uh, to to uh, uh, have in. in the heart and in mind, uh, 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 three days. Uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm thinking about about uh, this performance, uh, and I I'm not sure that uh, 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 how, how many straight uh, can we have we have narratives like this. Uh, is it also with uh, acting? When you have some narrative like this, is it is it hard to 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 understand that uh, uh, emotionally and uh, physically that, that that pain painful burns and everything? How is it in acting? Um. Uh. Yes, it it is difficult. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out how to answer how to answer this question. Um, but just as in you know video design, you have you have your skills that you learn in order to create the videos. As actors, we have skills that we call upon to be able to be able to tell the truth authentically um, as the character. 
but not not as myself, but as the character, right? So um, I have trained as an actor and I have learned the technical skills that I need as a performer to be able to shift into what it might be like to be experiencing that level of pain or that type of mental strain, pain, suffering. And, um, you know, majority of all productions involve human suffering um, because that's what we like to go to. You know, we go to the movies and a lot of times we see dramas or even if we see comedies, there's some sort of conflict or some sort of struggle that the character has to go through. And I think this is this is what drives story a lot of the time. Um, so. I don't know if, did I answer the question correctly? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so it is It is definitely challenging. But um, again, I think the most important thing is always how can we tell the story more effectively for the audience? And um, in this scenario with Ugly, Ugly Lies the Bone, this was the effect, the most effective way to tell the story the story for the audience for them to be able to really understand and see the changes that were happening for the character on stage yes and uh, this projection is uh, also uh, very impressive and uh, uh, in, in uh, this trailer and uh, we saw the that the projection was on 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 her on her face and uh, those are the things that uh, uh, sometimes it can be uh, very tricky for 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 the actor uh, and uh, uh, it's uh, this mask and costume and everything and those uh, wear glasses and projection and uh, moving. Uh, did you have some problem when, uh, uh, did you have uh, some experience uh, when you have uh, uh, similar projections with uh, fast moving from uh, black to white or, or, or something that, that you have some uh, uh, fog <laughs> in head? Yeah, I mean, um, as performers, you're always thinking on stage, right? I mean, there, there is the the performing side of the brain, and then also the the ability to to say, okay, am I stepping into my light? So it's the responsibility of the performer to go. I have to be able to authentically tell this story, but I also need to step into my light. So sometimes you that means like. I have to be able to respond to any changes. Any, you, we talk about uh, things going wrong on stage. Happens all the time. The performer has to be able to be on their toes constantly. So if there's projections, the light is in my 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 way. Um, you just you just sort of deal with it, <laughs> you know. Um, unless. You know, if it wasn't something that you fixed during rehearsal or whatever, um, yeah, most of the time actors are just very, we talked about adaptability. Um, actors are adaptable. The best actors are adaptable and that's what all actors are striving to be or should strive to be is adaptable on the stage because anything can happen. Yes. And uh, because of that, uh, I want to tell to, to all those participants when they... Uh, 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 in the future uh, when they will work on, on some project with projections to uh, have uh, a great patient on, on, on patients on, on the actors to ask them is somebody is something is not okay for them it's very important and that is that uh, adaptability and flexibility uh, for all of the crowd, not only for 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 uh, the uh, actors. It's very important to ask uh, people on the scene: uh, Are they okay with projection, with mapping, or everything? Because sometimes it can, it can be very tricky and sometimes sometimes painful. And a problem with the the the, the seeing or something, uh, and, uh, and I want to 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 
have uh, i want to 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 tell that that is the very important when uh, we uh, make the video and projection to ask act actors is everything okay because that kind of it's not only that you must to be adaptable it's okay to be adaptable but it, it is okay from our side as uh, video designers and for, from light designers to ask you, is everything okay for you? And uh, that part of of, uh, of collaboration is to uh, tell to the crowd to solve the problem through rehearsals. And that's it. When you think that it will be a problem, say it now, <laughs> because it will be a problem for, for every uh, uh, member of the crew. And uh, for the, the participants here, they uh, must to know that they need to ask uh, uh, actors, is everything okay? Because those uh, big projections uh, with uh, great projections, with powerful projectors, projectors uh, can make some... Uh, uh, some... Uh, like it can um just cause cause issues like it could yeah. cause issues for the actors you know to not yes. be able to see yes uh, not able like to that. see yeah yeah and sometimes on the scene if the projection is uh, like this like a sphere mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you don't know where to go because if the light is uh, uh, on the high level you do, you don't need the point on the scene when you uh, must to go, and that is the the, the job for uh, video designers. Ask uh, uh, actors, is everything okay? And for uh, uh, light designers, the mm -hmm. uh, second project. Those participants know that I adore uh, Akram Khan Company and uh, his project because uh, projects uh, because uh, uh, he have. Uh, uh, in almost in in every uh, performance uh, he have uh, projections uh, very complex uh, uh, projections with animations with everything and here uh, we have the project called uh, uh, xenos and it will be on uh, uh, in november i don't know uh, or in uh, October 23 or something like that uh, we will uh, see the trailer and uh, the director of this is uh, George and Tarheil and uh, Xenox with the questions uh, whose war, whose fire whose hand is this the same topic but in the different way. We have the the hope project that is uh, 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 talking about the peace. We have the previous uh, project. Uh, the narrative is about uh, those painful uh, emotionally and physically uh, therapy in uh, virtual reality. Uh, the projection uh, the war or after war person after war and uh, uh i think that uh, it's not uh, 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 me as a tutor in 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 this project on this uh, video art design sessions uh, uh i i i need to 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 show all this uh, project because it's very important for all of us when you choose i i speak to participants when you choose the projects uh think about uh what do you want to to do do you want to do comedy tragedy or whatever or uh you want to uh, be in the be the part of some performance uh, which is trying to uh, help the audience to understand the this time in our civilization, this moment, 
uh, that we are in, those are uh, uh, very uh, hard times with many wars and uh, as uh, artists video artists or, or actors or directors or anybody from the from the uh, crowd in 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 the theater we need to to promote those kind of of uh, of narratives how to solve all these wars in the world all all this uh, darkness because uh, uh, it's it's very important for the generations for the young generations and to try to to to, to bring young pe people in the audience to understand because we have a terror of television uh, and everything and uh, that is changing our minds uh, but when you are uh, working in some project like those that, that I mentioned or any other in a theater. It's a different world. It's a world that is trying to find solution, not only for, for the war and for the peace, but many other things, uh, uh, many other uh, narratives for love, for hate, for Sonia, you know, <laughs> your actress, you know, the, 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 the narratives that you were been, uh, what is the, the, uh, most, uh, interesting for you, the narratives, the, the scripts the, and the directors that you want to, to, to work with? Mm. I think that majority of actors want to play, um, you know, the really, the really juicy stuff. Uh, sorry. Um, we, you know, like, for example, we have Shakespeare, right? We have the Greek tragedies. And we've been doing them for for centuries for so long, because they're still, they're still important in our modern world, because of, I mean, you look at all the the genocides, the wars that are currently happening in this present moment. A lot of these characters in Shakespeare are, it's life or death situations that they're talking about. So um, for me as an actor, I like to play, um, I do love a, a drama. I love, um, I also really like to play the villain. The villain is a lot of fun to play because a lot of times as an actor, you have to, not you have to, but the way that I work is if it's a villain, I ask, um, what is the things that she loves? What, what, what drives her? You know, how did she get this way? Like, and if I'm playing a, a quote unquote good character, it's like, where is the darkness in this character? So you have the, the juxtaposition, you have both the light and the dark, because that is how we function as human beings. We, every single human being in this world has both light and darkness. And, um, and you're talking about, you know, we're talking about war and peace and how do these two things, how can we, how can they coexist together and really find um, answers to the really difficult questions? Um, that was a long way to say that I like to play villains. <laughs> yes. okay. uh, 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 what do you think about uh, uh, this that, that I uh, said about my uh, uh, expression of this theme that I uh, choose for today? Um, war, the, the war and peace. Um, I think it's so needed right now in our, in our contemporary world. I mean, I'm in all, it seems as though, you know, I'm coming from the United States and now I'm in Belgrade and I'm, I, today I was a, a participant in the workshop of the, of hope. And it was very informative for me to be there because you have people who have actually actively lost people to um, war crimes and have endured war, which is something that I have not particularly had to endure as an American citizen um, in my lifetime. Um, so, but if I want to be, if I'm, if, if I'm fighting for, for peace in the world, it's important for for all of us to learn and collaborate and to talk and to have empathy and hold space for people who have gone through these experiences. And so we can learn 
just learn. And sometimes all that is, is just like you listening, us like shutting up for once and not having an opinion and actually just listening to the victims who have endured um, what they have endured. And then, you know, as artists, we have a great responsibility and also a great privilege that we get to shine light on um, topics like war and peace. And we get to engage human beings in a different way. Mm -hmm. And that is um, very exciting. And that means that we have to be creative. And now in the age of technology, I think it's important to get even more creative and start thinking more outside of the box because we're losing masses. We have, we were a generation, you know, of, of phones. We're a generation of TikTok where everything is 30 second videos. And so it's like, how do you get people to see the theater, to go to theater? How do you get people to care about things like war and peace because a lot of times if it's not actively affecting you then we don't care or we don't even know oh oh there's a war and uh you know not even there's a genocide happening in Palestine oh well I don't I don't live in the Middle East so it's not of importance to me or the things happening in the rest of the world right so I think now as artists we have to start figuring more start thinking out of the box and we live in a technological age. So the fact that video design is coming to the stage now and is becoming a way that we tell stories, um, we're adapting as the, a civilization. Yeah. So yeah, what you guys are learning is just so, so important. Yeah, the, 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 I ask you that because uh, I, I wanted to to hear your opinion because I I think the this video design is very important uh, uh, in a theater because you you mentioned TikTok and other social media with uh, thirty seconds and everything, and uh, uh, now as a video designer, uh, we must to find the way for those projections. To to uh, to to uh, try to find the way for the younger audience something that uh, will be interesting for them uh, for older generation it's okay they come they see the performance and it's okay they don't think about the projection about uh, how it was made but those young generation generation they know how to make make video in uh, 15 seconds and as a video designers we uh, must to find the best way to to manage the videos and projection and mapping for uh, uh, all generations but the the main uh, 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 audience uh, uh, it will be good to be the, the the those young generation because they don't uh, 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 they don't they, they have so many influences and they don't think about uh, genocide in Palestine or or uh, they are not interested in anything they are not interesting in, in interested in, in in their schools or uh, whatever uh, uh, we need to 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 find the way with video projections to be for the older audience, for the younger audience, and uh, that only can be uh, uh, real, uh, 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 realized in, in a way with collaboration. With collaboration. You are, uh, uh, Sonia, you are younger than me. And if we uh, work something together, I will ask you, what do you think? Is this okay or is this and director and everybody else? When I uh, this is a suggestion for participants of the se this session to ask everybody, <laughs> to ask everybody, is this okay? Do you have some comment? Do you have some suggestion? Because uh, uh, the the biggest part of my life I lived in previous uh, century. 
not in this century. <laughs> and uh, uh, that is a generation gap. But uh, I think that I'm contemporary, <laughs> and the, and because I I uh, uh, I love to to hear the the comments of uh, young children and of young people, uh, older people, all generation, because I always learn something new, and now especially in video design, video design will be future in the theater. Now is in in the world we are a small country we have a low budget productions, uh, duck theater is uh, uh, free theater, uh, uh, making the projects we don't we don't uh, have the 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 big production and uh, uh, we are trying to find the ways to uh, to make the performance to to look. The, the best in the moment we don't have equipment like in 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 those uh, examples that they uh, show but we are trying the best and we're trying to find the way the participants know about the the, the dancing trees and uh, uh, on air project and the way how uh, I managed with video design and how I made uh, those videos and uh, but uh, in every occasion, the the team is very important. The whole team. And here we have in in uh, uh, Xenos uh, reveals the beauty and horror of the human condition in its uh, portrait of the Indian dancer whose killed body becomes an instrument of war. And uh, Akram has brought together a stellar creative team. And you have here all the people that are uh, not not the whole team, but uh, he put his uh, here a list. I put the links uh, uh, below for uh, his site. And uh, uh, I uh, propose to all of you to look at uh, the the performances that will be and that are uh, uh, this is the uh, the frame from from the projection and now I will play the trailer. Uh, here you have a link. You will get the PDF to to watch it home. Oh. Do you see? Do we hear it? Yes. We can see, we can hear only fragments of sound. Hmm. I put it the, the link below so you can. Uh, I have some problem like last time. What is my Do you see the video, Yasna? What do I have? You have here the list of, of everybody that... Uh, 
and uh, here I put the uh, Choto Dash we uh, in a previous session I explained it, uh, the the theme of this and uh, here uh, we have I put it in uh, flexibility because in this video if you remember when we played uh, previous uh, all of them, Akram, director, and everybody else were uh, 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 were talking about the rehearsals, about uh, talking with each other, collaboration, and uh, the the uh, uh, this guy uh, Akram Khan and his company is uh, uh, so. Uh, team, creative team that is great. They are working uh, for uh, not such a long time, but uh, he is very flexible. Uh, in uh, this video, he, he explains that uh, in in uh, uh, when he's uh, dancing, he don't see the projection, but he knows the projection. <laughs> he knows the because of music. We didn't... Uh, 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 Sonia, I want to ask you one more question about uh, when you don't see the, the video, is it the music? Because sometimes... Uh, 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 uh sound is in includes in the video and uh, uh we don't have the the sound guy or something like that sound person and uh, uh is it easier for you when you uh, in rehearsals you learn the sound of the music or some noises and you know the narrative of the video and uh, uh, you don't need to know uh, to to look at the video. You just know because of music, or you have some other technique. Um, I think it depends exactly what is being projected on the screen. Um, it would it would be like if if for dance, for example, um, yes, it would be based off of the music. Uh, the choreography that is set to the music, right? Um, as an actor, you have different cues, different cues that allow you to know, um, I'm going to move here. Now I have to move here. I'm going to be in, I'm going to be in this light. So a lot of times um, you have built in cues that the director has given you. And that is what the actor is going off of. Um, so yes. Yeah, and the director will give cues. Is it important uh, for you the sound? Yes, very. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, th that was my question okay. because when we have video, we have sound, we have light, we have everything. We mm -hmm. are talking about video design, mm -hmm. but uh, all the time I I, I want to uh, make the point that everything is included and everything is important and mm -hmm. that. That we uh, must to have that flexibility in in our relation in uh, when we are working in, in the theater, mm -hmm. the flexibility and ad adaptability. All of us, uh, you as an actress and everybody else, light designer, techniques, sound designer, video designer, everybody, director, and, uh, set designer, uh, uh, choreography, scenography, and uh, all all the crowd or the. All, in that uh, uh, that performance, uh, here you have the the uh, the links uh, red are, are the links, and here is the uh, choto dash and the uh, the animation that is made for this, and uh, just watch it. Uh, I uh, said it before, I can uh, uh, learn you how to uh, make your own uh, poetic, your own videos. We have uh, uh, those links on the first and second session where you have links for those free softwares. Please uh, try it. 
try it. Uh, I'm talking to participants. Try and find uh, the best software that you uh, uh, can make the video for the end of this course. Uh, the next time I, I will uh, uh, explain you the, the way of creating your video, I will make uh, a PDF and you, you will uh, have the, the lines, what to do first, next, and I will give you the three texts to analyze. Uh, uh, if anybody wants to to uh, uh, have some, uh, Yasna, you have uh, your poem. Yes, okay. And uh, for the others, if they want to to uh, work on uh, on its own idea, just to put on uh, in that document the narrative that you want to uh, uh, show in the video. So at the end of this course, uh, we can uh, uh, watch that, analyze, and to have that certificate. Is anybody have uh, some questions? We have five minutes or suggestion or critics, <laughs> positive, negative, everything. No, nobody. Okay. Now I I will be for today session. We were talking about soft skills that are very important in theater for all 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 uh, collaboration. We have collaboration and communication, communication skills, collaborative spirit flexibility, and I will put uh, adaptability. Uh, you just uh, uh, read these lines. I will, uh, Milica will send you the, the PDF for the next week. At the same time, uh, uh, we have a session. Uh, Sonia, thank you very much. It was pleasure to, uh, uh, to have you today with us. Uh, if somebody of participants have some questions for Sonia, it's an uh, occasion that, that you can ask her something. Yeah, um, thank you for allowing me to be here. It was such a great pleasure to to be here and, and to join in on this class. If, if um, somebody has a question for me that they want to ask me, maybe not in this um, Zoom, I can... Um, drop my email and then you guys could send me questions if you guys have any questions okay and uh, uh just to uh, to say that yeah uh, uh at 13 october we have the play of uh, uh dancing trees and i will be on the uh on the performance and if anybody from serbia wants to uh, see how it's working and the those uh, technical uh, stuff that and uh, persons that I work with uh, on this uh, performance and everything else you can come you have on uh, Facebook Instagram or on uh, Daft Theater uh, site uh, you can come and ask me anything for uh, the that performance how we make it uh, the video projection uh, thank you very much sonia thank you again yasna do you want to ask something no i just wanted to to thank you for this uh, wonderful session and thank thank you sonia too <laughs> Thank you for such a kind words. Uh, I'm I'm so happy that Sonia was with us today because uh, I thought that uh, uh, when I talk with the Milica today and she said that Sonia will be today with us and that I uh, to honestly today uh, it was not this team. This uh, was for the next session. But when I heard that Sonia will be with us, I asked Milica, uh, uh, do Sonia want to, to talk a little bit about uh, this team? And Sonia said yes. 
and I change the 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 position of sessions <laughs> because on today's sessions we uh, 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 it was fr from that plan that we talk about technical stuff. But uh, when I heard that uh, Sonia will be, will be here and that uh, her is actress, I said no, I will change and uh, we will uh, uh, because I uh, I want to ask. Uh, is it uh, uh, is it um, new experience for you when you uh, uh, hear the the uh, actress talking about everything in in uh, uh, with uh, video design and performance? Jasna. Is it a new experience for you? Is it is it good for 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 you to to uh, well, yes, of course. It's uh, it's like you're listening to an insider's information about about uh, the whole um, experience uh, of uh, of theater. So, I mean, we cannot get there anywhere else. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because of that, I changed the 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 uh, the sessions. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, for, uh, to everybody that participates today. Uh, we will see uh, each other next week. week. Sonia, thank you very much again. Thank you. I hope, it, I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys again for your time and your attention. And I talk a lot, so... Um, no, yeah. okay. <laughs> I it's hope okay. it was helpful. <laughs> It was helpful for, for for me too because uh, it's not the same when somebody from inside the, from the scene is talking uh, as I as a video designer. Thank you very much for patience, uh, Sonia. Thank you very 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 much. See you soon, <laughs> and bye to everybody. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you.